So today we're going to be looking at AMC 10 2017A question number 20. Uh, the question says, let S of N equal the sum of the digits of positive integer N. For example, S of 1507 equals 13, because uh, 1 plus 5 plus 7 is 13. Uh, for a particular positive integer n, s of n is 1,274. Obviously, n is a very big number. We're not going to be able to guess n's value exactly. Um, maybe, we'll see. Which of the following could be the value of s of n plus 1? Pay close attention to qualifying words like could be the value of. In other words, we not are going, we're not going to know exactly what s of n plus 1 is. Um, it could vary from different choices of n that have a digit sum of 1274. Um, so don't think that there's only one answer and then you look and find your answer up there. Rather, we have to find something that is a possibility for s of n plus 1. Um, again, sometimes in problems when you're solving on the AMC especially, uh, you're not going to know the solution method from the start of the problem. Um, nobody does. Uh, you're not going to know, like, or maybe you don't know the formula that you can apply. And so many people, if they don't know the formula or they haven't worked with a certain concept before, they give up. And so what we want to do then is overcome that feeling once again and try things out and see what happens. Uh, this is a very large number. Maybe we could work with something smaller uh, let's just see what happens if I do S of 12, for instance. 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay, if this number went up by 1, what would happen? S of 13 is simply 4. Well, it looks like the sum went up by 4, so maybe we would just go to 1275, but 1275 is not an answer choice. It's a possibility, but again, we're looking for what could be, and it has to be among the answer choices. But we can still learn from this. If we go to S of 14, you'll get 5, and you'll see it consistently goes up by 1. Then there must be a time when it doesn't go up by 1. When would that be? Probably when the last digit is a 9, or last 2 or 3 or so many digits are 9s. So let's try something like S of 19, because it will reset back to 0 when you add 1. So this is going to be equal to 10, and if I add 1, I now get 2. It looks like we went down 8. We were not able to perceive just yet exactly why that happened, um, but if we take 8 off of 1274, we end up at 1266. Well, that's close at 1265. Maybe we just circle E and think, oh, there's, maybe this is what happened. No, that's a bad strategy. <laughs> Uh, what you want to do is figure out what happens if there were, say, two nines, right? Um, let's do S of 199. That's going to equal 19. And if I do S of 200, it's equal to 2. Now, it went down 17 this time. Well, that's not a multiple of 8. We went down 8 the first time, and now we're going down 17. That's 9 more than previously. We can uh, think of the gap of 17 as equal to 8 plus 9. Okay, so what do we do with that? What's the pattern? We still can't quite tell. Is it going to be 10 next or something? Maybe we can analyze what took place when we went from 19 to 20. The 9 became a 0, and the 1 went up by 1. So we lost 9 and gained 1. Whereas in this one, we lost two nines and gained one. Huh, so we're probably going to lose a multiple of nines and gain one. Therefore, when we go down from 1274, we'll first go down 8 to 1266, and then every uh, decrease after that will be a multiple of nine. So what can we do then? Uh, we just find the difference of the next number. 1266 minus 1239 is 27. And 27 is a multiple of 9, which makes D possible. It's a really good idea on the AMC especially to verify the other answers don't in fact work. Why do we do that? Uh, because if you used false reasoning or bad reasoning to arrive at this and you don't realize it, 
checking the other answers will reveal it to you in some cases. So if we subtract um, 12 from 1266, we're going to get 1254. Uh, this is not a multiple of 9 by using the digit sum trick that the sum of the digits will be a multiple of 9. So we don't have to worry about this. This is the, the difference in the two numbers. If I subtract 3, I get 1263. And 3 plus 6 plus 2 is also not a multiple of 9. If I subtract 1, I get 1265. 11 plus 3 is not a multiple of 9. Now we feel confident that the answer is D.